Hey guys, if you're doing anything involving lights inside of Revit, you definitely need to also account for controls. So obviously lights need to be controlled. Sometimes you have to turn them off and sometimes you want to turn them on. Whether it be manual or via an aux sensor, you need something in your drawings to designate that the fixture needs to turn on and off by some command. So what you could do is just have everything in the room be switched off of a single switch. And that becomes fairly simple. You show the fixtures and you show a switch and you know the electrician generally understands that this switch gets wired to these light fixtures and that's how it gets controlled but if you need multiple zones like my office like I have two zones I have one there and the other one there so that's that's a and b you need to show a and b on your floor plan with like a little designation of some sorts so let me show you how Revit's built-in switch system does that it's fairly straightforward and it's pretty powerful. At least it's better than if you just put a text box next to your switch and a text box next to your light fixture because if you change one, the other one doesn't automatically update. So let me show you how we can do this effectively in Revit using the built-in system. All right, let's get started. All right, so now we're in the model. Uh, we just have a simple room here with two entrances or exits, however you want to call them. Uh, grid ceiling with two by four lay-in troffers, um, plain surface light fixtures. So these are your like, you know, just the stuff that is in your office. It goes in the ceiling. Um, I have a label down here that pulls in the switch ID. So we can see it popping up here um, as we go ahead and switch, create the switch system. So very simply put we're going to put two switches an a and a b and then we're going to zone these light fixtures so that switch a turns on half and switch b turns on the other half okay so to put a light switch in you go up here to your systems tab and your light switch is going to be under your devices so a lighting device is a control device and that controls your lighting fixtures those are your two categories in revit okay so under here we're going to click that button and I'm going to place um, a single pole light switch. So make sure it's on vertical. I'm going to put one here and one here. Uh, so this built in template, this is the standard Revit 2024 template that I'm working off of. Um, these, oops, these light fix or these light switches um, don't automatically pop up with the switch ID. So you have to tag it. If you go over here to the annotate tab and hit tag by category, you can drop two tags right here. So question mark one, question mark two. There we go. Now I have the switches in here and we're going to designate the switch ID. So the switch ID is like the letter that you give the zone. So over here, I'm gonna type in letter A and you can see that pop up. I'm gonna go to the other switch and we're gonna go letter B. Perfect. So now that the switches are set up, we're going to create these switch systems from the light fixtures. So to start, you go ahead, you go ahead and pick the light fixture you want to switch. Um, you can actually do multiple. So I'm gonna do the top one and holding the control button, I'm gonna click on the bottom one so that it selects both uh, light fixtures. Now I'm gonna come up here and instead of hitting the power button, the power normally circuits the lights to the panel, uh, we're gonna hit the switch button next to it. So I'm gonna click that switch button and you can see this little box that appears. That means a switch system was just created. Now the next step is it wants you to define the switch. So up here we're going, uh, up here we're gonna hit select switch. And then you can see down here, it's asking you to select a switch to assign to the system. We're going to pick the switch letter A. So once I click that, you can see there's a little dash line that signifies that this is now a switch system and the switch ID was just transferred to these light fixtures. So the best thing about this is that if you ever need to change your designation, just go up here to the switch go over here to your switch ID and I can type in X, hit enter, apply, and you can see that everything in this switch system just switches over to the next letter, to whatever I put on the system. So if you have like 20 light fixtures on there, you can see how it'd be much easier to switch it in one switch rather than going through to each lighting fixture and changing the little text box from A to X. 
but that's that's how it functions. So I'm gonna do the next one now. Um, I'm gonna do two light fixtures, hit switch, select, switch B, and there you go. So let's just say, uh, you know, I come up here, switch, I wanna make this Y, and apply, done. If you just wanna use the Revit Smarts to switch your circuits appropriately, um, that's all you gotta do. Set it up, you put the switch in, you put your fixtures in, and you click the switch button, and you pick your switch, and you're done. Uh, it gets a little trickier if you need to add other controls. So more often than not, you need to put in an aux sensor, and um, maybe you need to put in like a three-way switch. Uh, the problem with the switch system is that it only lets you pick one lighting device. So that lighting device writes to the switch ID, and it can't pick another switch because it'll try to write to that switch ID. So the workaround that I figured out is to basically take a light switch, edit its category to be a light fixture, and then have that read the switch ID. So let me show you how I kind of do that here. Let's say, you know, I, I want to add another switch. So I'm going to create similar. I'm going to put this over here. Um, we're going to tag this over here. So let's say I want to add this switch to zone X. Uh, if I click on the light fixture and I click on switch system, you can try to edit this system by clicking this button and it says add to system, but it says add a component to the system such as source equipment and terminals. It, you can't actually pick this light switch. Like try as it might, it's not gonna add to the system. If you sit, if you hit select switch and you click this button, um, it looks like it works because it highlights, but it actually drops this switch. So watch this, I go finish. And now this system, this switch ID is blanked out and it actually has, um, it overrides these fixtures, but it doesn't connect to that light switch up there. So this light switch and this light switch don't talk to each other. They don't read the same parameter. So that's not good. So what I actually did instead was I took this light switch and went to edit families. And from here, I go up to the category and parameters and I actually changed this from lighting device to lighting fixture. So I hit OK, and then I save this as a family. I go over here to lighting switches, and then I also I do lighting switches as fixture, <laughs> and I hit save. OK, now I can close this. All right, so I come back in here, and like the, the one that's not listening to the other light switch, I get rid of that. And then I take this lighting switches as fixture and I bring that into the model. I place that up here. Um, well, technically it's a three way. Technically it's a three way, but uh, to get rid of the three right now, we're going to just do single pull. Okay, so now I'm gonna tag this. Come on, flip. There we go. Okay. All right, so I replaced that light switch. So if you click on this, you'll see that it says lighting fixture. Um, this one over here is lighting device. So as long as I only have one lighting device on the switch system, it will accept this value. So let's go over here to the switch system. We're going to now edit the switch system. And now it lets me add the second switch. So I'm gonna hit finish. And you can see now that this light switch actually has a switch ID that I can't adjust. That's because it's reading the switch ID from this switch. So if I want to change it, I go over here to this switch, I go two to X, hit enter, apply, and there we go. Now the switch, the light fixture, and the other switch all talk to each other, which is great um, because then you don't have a mismatch. And like, could you imagine if the other switch was like Z? And the contractor looks at it and be like, what is this controlling? <laughs> so this is a great way to keep everything neat and tidy. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, actually here, I will copy this over, uh, tag it, 
Come on. Flip. There we go. So you got switch X. Uh, this one will be switch Y. Perfect. And then over here, instead of the lighting device, I'm going to delete that. And we're going to stick in a lighting fixture uh, as a single, yeah, single pole right here. Single pole with a tag. Perfect. Now I'm going to circuit, or I'm going to switch all these together. So over here in switch systems, we're going to select the device. There we go. Drops the Y. And we're going to edit the system to add this other switch. Ta-da! There you go. It's all done. So now I have two switches. I have lights in two zones. And now the room is fully controlled. The electrician knows how to wire it up, and there shouldn't be any questions. Uh, if you want to add um, an aux sensor overhead, there you go. So here's a device. Again, this one has the capability to write a switch ID. Uh, we actually want to read the switch ID, so it's backwards. So if I make this as a fixture... Again, very quick process. So go over here, lighting fixture, okay. Okay, so there we go. I brought, brought it in as a fixture. So now you can see that it's a fixture. I can tag it. And if I add it to zone X, you can see over here, switch system, edit, click on the aux sensor, check, and there you go. So now you know that this aux sensor has a zone tag that matches this switch, this fixture, the other switch. So that's how you do it. Um, everything in here, of course, is intelligently linked. Um, if you just go over here to one of these switches, you can change it, update it, etc. All right, so then that's how you do it. That's how you use switches uh, with my little workaround to get extra switches in a system. Um, I will caution you against uh, just throwing everything in here. Uh, that's because the architects are going to have a field day with you if you don't use work sets correctly. So let me explain what I mean. So on the architect plan, uh, they will typically just show the lighting fixtures for their coordination for the RCP. They don't want to see the controls. They don't want to see the switches. So what they'll try to do is they'll open up their graphic override and they'll scroll down to lighting and they'll just turn off lighting. Oops. They'll just turn off lighting devices. So they hit okay. And you can see that only two of the switches goes away. That's because we classified the rest of the switches as lighting fixtures. So now they can't turn that off. So I always recommend using work sets for that. So I would take um, the all the controls. So like the, the switch, the aux sensor, all that stuff. And I would put that under a lighting controls work set like so. And then the fixtures themselves um, I will put those on a lighting fixtures work set. So I can hit apply. That way the architect can go in here, take your work set and turn off your lighting controls. So if you hit okay, you can see that now it cleans it up. So the, all the controls are off, um, makes their life easier and it helps keep this work around from becoming a problem in the future. Hopefully you can make good use of that. Um, could even save you an RFI in the future. But if you have questions, drop them in the comments below. Um, I do go into a lot more detail for the switches in uh, my coursework. So like the coursework I, I made a little while ago, uh, I go over like, you know, how to circuit these, how to, you know, lay them out, all that good stuff. You can check it out below. Um, if you have any other questions, you can join us on Patreon or Discord and uh, I'll see you guys around. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.